Hey, everybody. Now, I want to start just by first saying and praying that none of me, Lord, and all of you, all right? Wow. Okay, there's so much going on. And the last we talked, I had just woken up from that dream, Revelation 311. My hotel room was 311, and my apartment was 311. That was cray. Uh, thank you to Brother Shad, who I pinned a comment and explained what that was all about, because that had me boggled. Of course, I understood, you know, uh, hold fast, no man take your crown. You know what I'm saying? I'm paraphrasing here. All right, tired, trying to do this for the fifth time. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, we got snow coming. This is cray. <laughs> uh, Sunday, starting off with rain and snow and turning into a full-fledged snow over night into Monday, so we're expecting an accumulation this time. Everybody's out at the stores. All right, so I'm going to leave a lot of links in the description box, including a video, and I'll play the video, but I got a lot to go through right here, right now. But first, I want to share that, you know, today was pressing into Jesus' day and listening, listening to those small boys, no matter what I had to do was pressing in and trying to stay away from distractions, any kind. Whew, that was hard. I, all of a sudden, as I'm talking to the Lord, he reminded me and told me to share with y'all. As He said he took total care of this, as I know I couldn't tame my tongue, and I'm very passionate about this, and I normally would have probably reacted a whole lot different um, than what the Lord did. Okay, so I had to go return some things at Kohl's for Amazon uh, from my fam here for Christmas. Um, as I'm doing this, there's much chaos behind the register. And I'm noticing the chaos, but yet not really making too much mind of it. Yet there was intentional, okay? Let me explain that. It was intentional chaos. So I'm still continuing to just bring my returns up, and do my thing. Now, before that, there was a very well-organized well line of people in zombies and masks and standing six feet and doing all the required things, and here comes me, the maskless one. So oh, an older woman steps in, and she's very irritated with me and asks me if I had a mask. And I said, yes, I do. And I held up my arm. And, you know, I've been dying to be asked that question. So I did let her know that I did have a, a medical reason for this and went to reach my purse. And, and she told me, no, no, never mind. It was okay. And, um, of course, I tried to start talking to her about it, but she didn't really want me to talk. All right? So she was standing way back and, like, reaching forward to scan my phone. And I said, honey, I'm not sick. It's okay. Anyways. It all ended up good back there, <laughs> and I got my stuff done, and I left. Never, never, never even thought about it, all right? Never thought about uh, a feeling about, gee, oh, it's crazy. Why'd you do that to me? Well, I'm a mascot. All right, I get it. Never thought those thoughts. So as I'm up front, she happened to come up front. Now, this was the Lord, because all of a sudden, she starts up a conversation with me, and she's, like, apologizing. She got convicted by the Holy Spirit. She got convicted and was apologizing to me and letting me know that people were watching her and she got her dog was to tell me, but if I had a medical note, that was okay and because I offered again. <laughs> and she's like, okay. And uh, anyways, so I said, no problem, no big deal. If it's a problem with y'all, I, I just really won't come back here. I don't want to offend anybody. And she said, no, no, we want your business. Please come back. And I said, maskless? <laughs> she said, no problem. So I know a new manager now. What a friend. Okay. I, I don't know. That's the plan. But the point is, that was Jesus. He took care of everything. All right? Uh, wow. It didn't even hit me until today. And this was a few days ago. All right. So here we go. I've got a lot to share. Like I said, I'm going to leave the links. There's one video I need your help with. Really, really bad. So let's see how fast I can go here. 37 degrees. All right. So first, let's go to Facebook, as I show you, and this is incredible. Um, I 
as of tonight, Saturday, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, there's going to be a rare planetary conjunction of Mercury and Jupiter, okay? Uh, now, what this is, is, of course, we've had the planetary alignment, uh, Venus and Jupiter, right? And Mercury, we found out, wow, a long time ago, is the messenger planet, right? So, he's going to be stopping by Saturn first, um, and then on his way to Jupiter, so to the king. <laughs> Cases, it is finished, all right? <laughs> Anyways, um, so this planetary alignment, and she'll sell, tell you in here, I can't play it because it plays the Age of Aquarius song, and I don't want a copyright strike already anymore. Um, so, anyways, this is something that we'll won't see in our lifetime. Another one of those lifetime possibilities with the snow coming in and my skies, you know, that I'm not seeing this, all right? All right, so, and then we had the Christmas star. Okay, so let's head over to Twitter. Now, what we did find out is at the Capitol building, and it was ransacked, and many things were destroyed. Uh, NP is saying that her laptop was stolen. Hmm. And uh, they were on lockdown. Okay, lots of things were happening. All right. So then on Twitter, there are a few things I thought you'd like to see. I'll start backwards first. Sorry for the unprofessional video that I got called out on the other day. Sarcasm. And I did, though. <laughs> All right, so they're asking for his immediate removal. All right, they're saying he's incompetent. They want him taken up for the 20th. All right, so then it shows here about the things that were defaced and busted at the White House, and they're also saying that he might have had something to do with it. And I'll talk about a double-minded man, unstable in all of his ways here. Well, wait till we get to the video, y'all. All right, so then it says here that President Trump says that he will not attend the inauguration. I'll leave all these links. Just give me a minute. I'm on the phone. All right, he's a little upset because I don't know. Who knows? Uh, pop some popcorn. And then President Trump comes out and thanks everybody. Uh, Kylie was, whew, well, trying to keep it together. Uh, she was putting out her remarks the other night about Congress. And they're saying here, that I'm going to leave a link on, is that, okay, what happened is he used, from 1887, called the Thomas Jefferson Act. He used that other than the Constitution, in which case, I guess self-explain it, or, or to, the easiest way to explain it would be is that in the case that they feel a president is not capable of or will do, let's just put it that way, will do, I'm not accusing anybody of anything, that the vice president went ahead and conceded, okay, for him. So they're saying and calling him the modern day uh you know who, the one that sold them out for silver, only this time it's gold, which you see the video. So, um, so anyways, they're saying that um, they were after him because of this, uh, he had several death threats that night, and then, of course, he invited Pence, and, all right, there's going to be a huge uptick in January that they're saying they're getting very much stricter with all of the above that you're thinking, okay? Including the backs and everything, and the masks, etc., etc. Um, hey, let's just pop some popcorn. Let's be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. All right, so the video. Let's get to the video. Now, I'm going to turn the volume down for the video, and I'm going to show you, but then I'll leave it. Okay, <laughs> just remind me to turn the volume up after. Okay. All 
All right. Now, before I play this, okay, watch and see what happens here because I'm not quite sure. Like I said, let me turn the volume down and I'll turn the volume up. Okay, so I'm going to leave all these links and everything in the description box. So, Judas is what he's being called right now. There's so much mud singing. All right, so something's got to happen. Something's got to break. Earthquakes, everything's happening, all right? Luke 21:36. We Of course, we pray that we be found accounted worthy to escape these things which are to come upon this earth. Praise the Lord, we are awake. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We know how to pray. We know how to encourage. We know how to armor up. We know how to do these things, stay in the Word, and get in the ark. All right? More than anything, as I say, this is Debbie from Texas saying, peace out, Maranatha. Keep looking up because our king is coming.